As your trusted health authority, I'll share with you why you should be more scared than ever before. But first, there's been a new twist in the COVID crisis. We just published research on the CDC website that shows only 6% of COVID deaths that we've been reporting to you were caused by COVID alone. 94% of COVID deaths had an average of 2.6 comorbidities. That means of the 161,392 COVID deaths that we've been shoving in your face, only 9,210 were legitimate COVID deaths. So does that mean we've been deceiving you and inflating the COVID death count by 152,182 deaths? Absolutely not, because we genuinely don't believe in math. And does this new information that proves that COVID is far less deadly than we've been trying to get you to believe mean you shouldn't live with intense fear anymore? Absolutely not. As your trusted health authorities, we consider our original estimates of over 2 million COVID deaths in the U.S. to be a far more accurate number than the 9,200 deaths that have actually happened. And of the 9,210 deaths, 90% of them were in people of advanced age which means young people are at extreme risk because you never know when your age is gonna advance by multiple decades all at once. People finding this published information and spreading it around on social media wasn't part of our pandemic because it puts people at risk of not being scared to death of this statistically not very deadly disease. Luckily, we started running smear campaigns on the sources that are highlighting this dangerous fake news that's based on facts. Look for terms like conspiracy theories and fringe theories that we use to make these new statistics irrelevant. And we're also having it censored on social media already for everyone's protection. And to help you further forget this new relevant information, we've also buried it on the CDC website. Good luck finding it. Only 6% of reported COVID deaths actually died from COVID? Now's a great time to discount people that speak of this new information with a well thought out, emotionally charged comment rebutting something they didn't say. Like, Oh, so you're saying you don't even care about the people that did die of COVID? You're glad they're dead? You just want sick people to die? <laughs> well, because they said nothing to indicate that, your emotionally fueled abstract assumption is obviously a more accurate expression of what they meant than what they expressed. Now we plead with you not to use this new information as a rational basis to rethink the level of fear that you're living under because rethinking your thinking could cause you to change your mind. And changing your mind is uncomfortable and a potential cause of COVID because our science fiction is yet to prove otherwise. And new information is the new outdated information. So you'll wanna stay with the times. So why should you be more scared than ever before? Because statistically speaking, your chances of not dying from COVID are 99.96%. And that means if you're in the 0.04% that does die from COVID, you have a 100% chance of dying. Take a look at the numbers. And luckily that means we're still justified in trying to ruin your lives to save your lives. In an effort to do so, please pay close attention to the COVID death count that will continue to run across your screen for you. Look, here it is. And so you can stay under your warm, wet blanket of fear while we'll neglect to adjust the death count for accuracy with respect to this new information. And we'll also continue to take away your rights for your protection. And just like how a woman abused by your husband might say, he only hits me because he loves me, you can repeat, they're only taking away my rights to protect me. And you'll continue to surrender your rights because you're scared. Now that we've confused any clarity you might've been feeling on the new COVID death count information, you can go back to sleep. Please stay tuned for more updates on what you should be thinking and feeling. Hi, this video will probably get censored.